Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. Today we are doing a DIY headboard bed frame situation for my bedroom. I'm very excited to get this piece together and just have my bed feel complete and at home. I love being in my bed. <laughs> I'm excited and I cannot wait to take you guys along for this journey. But before we really jump into things, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyface22. Make sure you guys subscribe. We have a new series around here called Rental Made Home and I'm just kind of week by week making over things in our new rental. You guys seem to be loving it so far, so make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification if you guys wanna continue following along as we make over this rental. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out. Maybe share it with a friend. All these things really help out my channel. Comment down below, say hi, let me know if you enjoyed this DIY. Okay, let's jump right on into things. To start, I have been browsing Pinterest for the last couple months. Came across a handful of these just fabric bed frames. They often look like linen, just these headboards that look cushy and I don't know. I just, I loved them and I really wanted to make one. But of course, bed frames and headboards, they're expensive. That's kind of a big purchase to make. And so I really just wanted to see if I could do this on a budget. There's kind of a handful of people who have done DIY similar that I kind of just like meshed into one to do this. My real life friend did something really similar to this. So I kind of originally saw the idea from her. And then recently DIY Dahlia, she DIY this whole bed frame situation. So I definitely got a bunch of inspo from her, saw how she did hers so I could really get some good ideas. And then also just Pinterest. I found some good Pinterest links people DIYing, <laughs> lots of good DIY headboard bed frames out there. Before I get too ahead of myself and we really get going into this DIY, I wanna talk a little bit about today's video sponsor, Lily Silk. Lily Silk is the perfect sponsor for this video because they make beautiful silk bedding, pillowcases, eye masks, really beautiful high quality silk items. So I'm really excited that they are sponsoring today. They are a zero waste company. So all of their little scrap fabrics they use to make things like their eye masks and scrunchies, which are such fun products. They also work with TerraCycle, which is a world known recycling company, and they are just committed to zero waste production. They are environmentally conscious. All their silk is grown from mulberry trees. It requires less water than cotton to grow, and they're not sprayed with pesticides to protect the soil. The natural fibers they use are degradable and they actually decompose 50 times faster than synthetic materials. They go to great lengths to keep their products clean and toxin free. I wanna share quickly about their products. So they have such wonderful gifts for friends and family, for yourself. They have really beautiful packaging. When I opened the box and saw everything individually, they felt like gifts. Lily Silk has everything you can imagine with silk and such a great wide range of of products and so many great colors, sizes to choose from. I know you could find something for a loved one, especially this time of year where February is like the month of love. <laughs> so such a great time to give to someone you love. Someone wanted to join. <laughs> I have been wanting to get a silk pillowcase. I have had insane bedhead lately since we moved. I really don't know why, but my bedhead has been out of control. Maybe it's like changing climates. I don't know, but it's been literally crazy. <laughs> Crazy. I had been reading that silk pillowcases really help and they're also great for your skin. I just turned 30 and you know, I feel like I need to start thinking more about this stuff. I got this beautiful white silk pillowcase. I've already noticed an improvement in my bed head. I've been loving sleeping on it. I literally don't know why I haven't done this sooner. I also got this beautiful cashmere turtleneck. It's this fun camel color. It's so soft, you guys. It comes in a variety of colors. And I love it. I also got some scrunchies. I have been loving scrunchies lately. I think they're less damaging to my hair and 
their silk, which is also softer on your hair. And I got this pretty like watercolor look and they come in different sizes. So love fun scrunchie. And the last thing that I got is this really cute, extremely soft sort of midnight blue face mask. I've never felt a face mask so soft, beautiful, such a nice quality face mask. And lastly, Lily Silk gave me a code for you guys to use. So you can use code EMILYLS12 to get 12% off everything on their site. I will of course link all the things I got down in the description box below so you guys can check them out. Get yourself a silk pillowcase, it's a game changer. So if you don't know that, you might need to be sleeping with one, really good for your skin. You gotta check it out. Let's jump back into making this bed and this headboard. The fun hack that we're gonna be doing is that if you have a queen bed, I don't think this will work with other size beds, but if you have a queen bed, you can buy a twin duvet and the twin duvet widthwise makes the perfect length for a headboard. I really wanted a linen fabric and I kind of wanted it to be like an oatmeal color. I'm very particular. So I did spend a little bit extra to get a linen duvet, but <laughs> you could do this way cheaper by getting a very affordable duvet or even just some scrap fabric. You don't technically have to do the duvet. If you wanna do the duvet, you get a twin size duvet, and what you're gonna do is get a piece of wood. Well, why don't I just show you guys? We have this cut to 68 across and 40 tall, and we chose 68 because 68 is the exact length of our twin duvet cover so we won't need to do any sewing but we can get more on that later so the first step is to put on a twin memory foam i'm not too sure that the hot glue did anything but that's okay you could also use some adhesive spray i think that's what you should really use and then it would just be stuck on but I think it will be okay because now I'm going in with this piece of batting and by the way both of these I got off of Amazon I can link them down below for you we're gonna go in with this batting and staple gun it to the back got this beautiful linen twin duvet and this is what we're going to use as our fabric so it should be basically the exact size we need um, width wise and then we'll staple it and see how it's looking Now that our headboard is made, we ran into a little bit of an issue there. It was a little bit tighter fit. If I would do this again, I would have cut the wood one inch shorter than the duvet or even a half inch shorter, but I didn't realize. And so we made it work, but it definitely was tight. <laughs> I really wanted to pull it so that the seam lined up. 
and that's what made it so tight. So anyways, next time I would have cut it down half inch smaller than the width of your duvet. Now it's time to make the boards around the bed. So I have a queen box spring we got for super cheap off of Marketplace and basically we measured out the width and height of our box spring and we bought some more, what is it? What is it called? OBX and we cut it to just be one inch taller than the box spring. To save money, I didn't wanna buy another memory foam or foam just cause that stuff really adds up. So I bought a $10 queen size like fuzzy blanket and we are using that double layering it just to give it a little bit of cushion. Like it's really just decorative. The, the base of this serves no purpose other than <laughs> looking good. So we laid our boards down on top and just cut them out and now we are doing the same process. We are using our staple gun, stapling this double <laughs> layered blanket on it first and then we are going in with the extra fabric from the duvet. I originally was not sure if I would have enough, but I have enough. I will say it is a smidge short. So I'm like two inches short. So I have to, at one of the ends, probably the foot of the bed where we won't see as much, I have to overlap some fabric. I should have properly cut the duvet off of the headboard. I should have just done it separately and measured it out and made sure that I would have enough, but you know what? I didn't. <laughs> so I'm, I'm literally like two inches shy of having enough fabric. Anyways, I'm making it work. I don't think you'll really notice or see it, but I'm just, you know, keeping it real. Then we're gonna go in with our extra twin duvet fabric and staple that over top. The last step is we got these big L brackets from the hardware store. We're simply using them to secure the boards together. And again, the bed is safe and sound on the box spring. So really this isn't structural, but we don't want these boards falling over. So we wanted to put them together and we just used a scrap fourth piece of wood at the back that you won't see, but then it kind of will all stay together. I wanted to show you guys where I overlapped the fabric. It's really not even, it almost just looks like a wrinkle. So that kind of worked out. Our gorgeous jute rug is from Loloi. I can link it down below for you guys. Okay guys, here is what my bed looked like before. And here is my bed now. Great did that turn out and it was actually so easy the staple gun sometimes gives me some struggles but I loved this project I love how simple it is and it got the look that I wanted for a lot less money it did still kind of add up but it was still more affordable than buying kind of my dream headboard bed frame situation. The one thing that's like super killing my vibe right now in my room is that we haven't painted yet. And our wall color is very similar <laughs> to this fabric and I am not digging it. So <laughs> I cannot wait till we have white walls. I like that it doesn't really stand out, but I want it to at least not just like look like part of the wall. So stay tuned. Hopefully in a couple weeks, I will have a full bedroom reveal makeover coming once we've painted and kind of finished styling it. But you know, one thing at a time. I also want to thank today's sponsor, Lily Silk. You have to go check them out and don't forget you can use code EMILYLS12 to get 12% off on their whole site. 
follow the links down in the description box. Thanks so much, Lily Silk, for sponsoring. You guys have to stay tuned for these next couple of weeks. We've been working in our kitchen. We have a living room makeover coming. It's just a lot of really fun content. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.